Hi guys. So we're back at a freaking gas station with some exponential lighting in the hood because I live right around the corner from here and I was delivering food. Um, but it is what it is. Oh, here's mumble rap around here. So whatever, I can blast my own music too and finish up this era album. But you guys might call me silly. I'm gonna attempt, actually gonna attempt to eat my dinner. Yes, that's right. PB and J. Probably have two of them because uh, I didn't have much to eat today. Just a salad, whatever. But I might as well double down and kill two birds with one stone right now. Um, this next song is called E Old. No, sorry. Edolon. I don't really have much else to say, so let's get right into it and see if we can actually do this. Let's do it. Um, actually, by the way, um, I didn't even make my Pete B and J's yet. I literally just brought the stuff with me because, like, that's how crazy my life is. So, where's the knife? Got right here. Okay, let's go. Nice. Sanitize my hands first. I love that riff, damn. Ooh, chunky. Chunky bass. All I fucking hear is mumble rap around here. All right, maybe that's not mumble rap. Sorry, I sound like a boomer right now. Who the hell's Tuxman? My father? Okay. So, I know this banana is black as fuck, but um, that's the thing. We're going to actually put a banana on here. You guys can call me gross all you want if you guys don't eat like that, but um, uh, the only other option is to make banana bread out of this. No one else to eat. I'm not going to put the entire thing on it, just like half of it. And the, like, if you guys don't know, for all the foodies out there, black bananas are still edible, so don't like think this is nasty or anything. I just don't want to see food go to waste. I'm a big man. Um, I also, I don't know. I don't really want to make any smoothies. I'll have pineapple home and grapes. Um, okay, <laughs> enough about food, Jesus Christ. So, before I take a bite out of this, um, riffs that's pretty much it and melodies that's pretty much it and screams amazing stuff right 
So I'm 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 concentrating. I'm just multitasking, guys. Don't worry. some intense bass right there I love that clean guitar too um I'm sorry if like I know we're already pretty far into this album I have two more songs to react to but um there's another song I can't remember the name of that has that clean guitar so for those of you who are able to like have all this music from era sinking on first listen I congratulate you, but you know the best bands. It has to take a few lessons for me to like remember everything, which is good. You know, you you have. It has to be that way. Don't get me wrong. Like a "Burn Me the Horizon" song is memorable in a way that's catchy, right? Or something sticks out in that way. So like, okay. It might take just like one lesson, maybe two, maybe three, who knows, but not many, not as many as something as um, technically proficient as what these guys are doing, or August Burn Dread, or Phineas, or Counterparts, you know, all these bands, they're just, there's so much to, um, just like my s'mores analogy, there's so much to, so much compartments um, to what they're uh, trying to um express sorry if my sentences aren't like um compact i guess i don't really know i can't really speak here but uh really really good song i i, I still don't have a single complaint on this album guys every single song has been a banner um I, i've only told you guys that the song scorpion him i don't even i don't think i rated scorpion him a 10 out of 10 I recall it might have been a nine out of ten, yeah. I think that was only nine out of ten. And then I had um which is an amazing song, but I don't know why. Um for some reason I didn't rate it ten out of ten. <laughs> because you know, with more listens, I'm sure it will be a ten out of ten. Uh whereas with House of Glass, like <laughs> that hit me hard right away. And then Divisioner, I think, was the one song that grew on me a lot too, but I wouldn't say that's a 10 out of 10. Definitely definitely like an 8.5 out of 10. Um, yeah, I would say 8.5 is fair for that one. Snowblood. Sorry, I thought I saw a cop. Snowblood 
I would say is also about an 8.5, maybe an 8 out of 10. Um, just because, again, it sounds like it came off a drift, but the breakdown hit hard. Um, I know we're not at the end of the actual full review here, so, you know, we're going to save the rest of that chit chat for later. Um, but that's pretty much it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make another PB&J sandwich. You guys can call me a fat ass. Uh, and I'm going to make it for this next reaction video. So see you soon. Like, comment, subscribe.